Hey guys, so uh, I made a review regarding this bag ages ago, like a year or a year and a half ago, and I've uploaded the cyan version. This is the English version of the review. Uh, the thing is, I was supposed to put on some supplements for this review, but uh, fortunately I sold the bag. I kind of miss it. If I can have one, I'd be happy. You know, boundary supply, if you can send me one, I could do further review. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, this is what I filmed uh, ages ago. It's kind of outdated. If I can have the bag now, I can do further reviews for it. But uh, either way, yes, this is the, the errant backpack from Boundary Supply. And if you have any questions, any concerns, anything that you want to clarify regarding the bag, anything that you, any detail that you want to know, as much as possible, I can answer you. I'll, I'm going to just do a comment below and uh, yeah, I'll give you exactly what you need if I can answer. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the video and uh, yeah, you have a good one. Hey guys, uh, I'm here again to review another bag and the thing is uh, my table is too low. It's not the, mm, mm, the one you have to press something, it's gonna go up and down. But uh, yeah, let's work around it. Uh, this is currently my table, top, stool. It's me again and I'm here to review another bag which is uh, the Boundary errant backpack so this is the boundary errant backpack which is uh uh was a kickstarter bag and uh yeah it's a lot of controversial controversial things about this bag here because uh they were trying to deliver a 24 uh, liter backpack which doesn't look like a 24 liter and uh, there were lots of things that were not there when it arrived so let's start checking the bag out yeah so first of all uh this bag is made of uh thick material uh i forgot the name uh yeah, you can check out other reviews regarding that one. Uh, so uh, it's made of thick material. This is what they use for boats. So this bag is like, yeah, really good. It's really thick. Uh, you can feel it. Uh, the only thing is that it's too thick that when you carry the bag, you can feel the weight when, when there's nothing inside the bag. So the, yeah, it's, it's really heavy, but it's really durable. Like when you touch it, it's like it's so thick. It's like double walled. And you can splash water around it. Uh, some some videos take this splash water and it's perfectly waterproof. So it's really good. Uh, this bag is, is made up of a lot of magnets and I'm being annoyed by somebody here in my, my side here is trying to... Okay, so <laughs> let's go back. So this has a lot of po pockets and uh, yeah, first of all, I'm gonna discuss the pockets outside. Uh, first pocket you can see on the left side is uh, you can put some stuffs here like your pens i got my charger up here got a lot of stuff you can put your pens you can put a key and there's a key magnet thing here but uh it's not it's not included when you get the bag you should get it extra for 20 dollars or something but uh yeah it should be it should have been nice if they had included that one here so that when you arrive home and you just take your take out your key so it's in this pocket here let me close it again and oh the side of the pocket here you can see there's a small hole that leads to the in internal of the bag so you can put a, a charger or like a player or anything and uh, like if you have a usb uh, charger you can put it inside and just put out the lead outside so you can charge your phone when it's here so yeah it's cool this hole is cool i just realized it now anyway next next part here is the, the main compartment which is opened by this back side here so i'm just going to discuss that later uh there's another pocket here which is so small so tiny but uh, it's it's nice it's it's like it's nice it's good for your if you put your passport here or you something that's thin that's uh uh anything that you want to place here i put my for my glasses here uh but anyway you can it's it's a big it's a big pocket like you can i can put my full hand inside so it's a pretty good pocket so a quick access for security also if you want to put money here that's also good that way it's close to your back nobody can steal it and there's a small hold hold it's <laughs> a small handle here <laughs> and so you can carry your bag that way and uh onto the other side there's a bell curl on the opposite side but when you open it there's a uh, uh, a latch or what do you call this uh, a strap 
that's hidden underneath it. What you can do with it is uh, you can wrap it around the bag and clip it here. So when you're handling your bag, you're carrying it as a luggage or you, you're, put, you're checking in your bag, uh, it's gonna protect these ones here. So like it's not gonna, the, the straps on your back's not gonna go around. But uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use this, maybe. Uh, it's Velcro, so you can lock it. That's awesome, okay. So there's a magnet strap also here, magnetic strap, wherein it, it covers the whole back. I mean, uh, it, it, it latches the whole back. So when you try to open the back part of your bag, it stops there. So you won't, you, the bag's not gonna fall off and then spill all over the place. But uh, this, mag this thing here is magnetic. So you just press one part here and yeah, it's just made of magnet. It's pretty good, but uh, a long-term use is that it's so annoying <laughs> sometimes because uh, it's magnet, it's weird. It's strong magnet. But uh, yeah, it helps in from uh, keeping your bag intact so it's not gonna fall off so the main compartment is with this zipper here when you open it it's like a clamshell opening there you go mm -hmm. and uh, which I'm confused for just I'm, I'm gonna start here so uh, this part here there's a small mesh pocket here where you could put a lot of stuff I put my headphones some wires and you can put your big headphones here so this is a good part on the sides there are small pockets here and here so you can put a lot of stuff uh, as for me I bring a MacBook Pro uh, daily and also some hard drives and some dongles so this part here I put my dongles yep. put it in this side here and this part I put on my extra glasses because uh, I need extra eyes I mean extra yeah, whatever yeah so I just put it here just in case if I forget this one I have an extra one here I have an extra headphone which is my sure headphone in here because uh yeah you never know you forgot your headphone you need something to listen to you have an extra headphone that's awesome so on the other part here of the bag you can see some two pouches here I put my hard drive which is the let's see this part here and then I uh, put the charger it's perfect for the charger when you place a charger here and this part you can put an iPad and it has magnetic locks also I bet you can see some other reviews but yeah it has magnetic locks also have a has a magnetic lock on top here it's for the uh, MacBook I have the MacBook 15 here initially they say they can uh, fit in a, Mac, uh, a 70 inch inch laptop in here but uh, when they came out they can't so like just 15 inch and I'm using my 15 inch MacBook Pro with a case and it's a bit snug also so there's a magnetic lock here but it's kind of annoying because uh, uh, if you have those clickety clackety locks you can just click it and it opens but this one here it's cool because you can just slap it there and it sticks but uh, when you try to remove it you need to like use two hands you can't use only one hand like it's tough to like yeah so you need, you need two hands to open it but the thing is you can just let it stick here there's a magnet here you can let it stick there so it's not gonna annoy you so your, your laptop's secure so you don't need this one but uh, if you just want to be sure and you just want to be secure so that you can use the that latch so yep that's what's inside I'm gonna close this now <coughs> the side here has uh, uh, right here the magnetic thingy here uh, there's a water bottle container here on the side so you can put water bottles or anything you want uh, at the bottom of the bag, oh, here it is. There's a zipper at the, at the, at the bottom of the bag, so it's it's supposed to be used for shoes. Like if you want to use, put in shoes. It has a separate compartment here. It's waterproof. It's smellproof. If your shoes would smell, it's not gonna go to your bag. But it's so tiny. Maybe it's it's good for small small shoes. Maybe sandals, thongs, slippers, whatever. It could fit here. Oh, or dirty laundry you can put blur yeah so uh it's quite small but uh it's there if you need it uh, on the front part you have this weird locking mechanism which is really weird and it has a zipper top so you can you can lock the top part so you can you can access the stuff from above uh with with this uh zipper top you can 
uh, leave the zipper on and just latch it. So that's good. Uh, has a fleece lined or I don't know, thing thingy here where you can put your uh, sunglasses or your whatever, that's your phone, which you don't want to be scratched. So you can put it here. Uh, the only thing is that they have this magnetic locks here. They call it nipple locks or I don't know, but uh, it's annoying to put in like it's it's magnetic But if you put it, it Doesn't stick you have to You have to guide it, but the thing is there are two of them. So when you guide one you try to guide the other one It's tough. It's It's tough So there uh, The bag is so Slim I like it so much, but the thing is uh yeah, as what other reviewers, uh, other, be other people uh, who have used this bag has complained because uh, whenever you try to put something on the pockets of this bag, it's gonna, it's gonna take some space from inside. So the more you put stuff on the pocket inside, uh, the, the more it becomes smaller and it doesn't feel like a 24 liter bag. It feels like a 19 or an 18 liter bag. Okay, yeah, there's some sternum straps also here. I forgot to mention there's sternum straps that you can uh, latch in here and latch in here and it's magnetic also that you can put around here. But uh, uh, a lot of people have found it that uh, it's, it falls off. So it's not, it clips here. It's, it's easy to place on the bag, but uh, it falls off. And also they have this small uh, yeah, waist strap here, but uh, they're thin, they're like these. Uh, I kept it somewhere, so I'm just too lazy to get it. But uh, yeah, there's I'm not using it. They're small and they're tiny. They're, they're just like just like uh, like these. They latch to your waist, which sometimes hurts because the the purpose of those uh, waist straps is to carry part of the bag. And if it's padded, it's good. But uh, it's gonna be big, so it it works both ways. It's small. It's tiny. Uh, uh, it's good. But the thing is, uh, also it doesn't support much of your belly or stomach or I don't know but uh yeah the the certain straps are good but uh, I take it off because they fall off and uh yeah it's hard to look for certain stuff like those so if you don't use it that much then you just take it off uh if you use it often uh, it's good because you can check it and you can use it all the time but uh yeah I just take it off uh also I have hold on a minute Also, there's a camera cube that's available separately uh, for cameras. You can put your camera in here and it's modular. You can put it on the top part of the bag. So you can just slide it on top here. Thing is, uh, uh, you have to latch this in front and then latch the magnetic strip behind. So you can have this one here and you can put your camera on top. The annoying thing is if you put this on top, you're not able to access your stuff from the top of your bag. You need to access from behind. So that's one of the annoying things about this bag. Uh, also, everybody uh, who's interested with this bag is gonna think that it has a lot of organize, uh, organizable, organizes, organization, uh, how do you say it? Uh, it has a lot of pockets. So yeah, a lot of people who, who's trying to get this bag thinks that with all the pockets you can organize stuff. But the problem is whenever you try to get something from those zip, from those uh, pockets, you need to either fish it from the top. But if you have something on top, then uh, you need to fish it from, you need to open the, where is it? The clamshell, which I'm having a problem now. Like, so if you like, uh, I'm, I'm outside, I'm gonna get my laptop, so I can just open the top and take my laptop. But uh, if I need to get my dongle or if I need to get something from the inner, I need to open the whole thing. And if I just open part of it, it's like I'm battling with a bag. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's the pockets are inside. Yeah, you need to open the bag. And the thing is, if you're, if you're outside, out and about, and you're just bringing your bag in your back, and oh, I want to get something from my bag. So like I usually uh, take things from my right side. So this one's on the left, a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, you're gonna take it from here, take stuff from here. It's doable though if, if you practice, but I'm, I'm a right hand guy. And the thing is, if you want to take something from inside the bag, you need to put it down somewhere. You can't just do this. It's quite heavy and you just have to put it somewhere, drop it somewhere else and then try to open the bag and take it there. So that's what's annoying about it. 
bottom line is this bag is really good it's really strong it can handle all the anything like water it can have you know, scratch proof it's really good only thing is uh yeah the space is not that big so you need to think of what you put in the bag because uh, if you're gonna put a lot of things in it, it's gonna it's not gonna fit <laughs> it's not gonna fit and also the pockets just just because it has a lot of pockets it doesn't mean that this bag here is like very good with putting out thing, things and like it's easy for you to access things because they're on specific pockets but no it's not you need to make sure that you understand when you try to get this bag that the pockets are inside and those are the stuffs that you don't easily like you don't uh access uh i'm out of words uh yeah you just you just have to know that uh those bags are not easy access those pockets are not easy access not bags come on those pockets are not easy access so yeah you need to fish it inside and look for it but uh yeah this bag is really sturdy it's really good and when i put it in my back it's really is really tiny it's it's not bulky looking i hate those big bulky bags the only bulky bag that i like is the wandered provoke because uh, it's very comfortable in the back and it's very comfortable in the back uh this one here is a slim line bag just like my gopro seeker uh yeah uh what else just a slash just a strap here also i haven't told you about it, but yeah you can see it so yeah i'm gonna test this bag more but initial uh initial impressions of the bag is that yeah it's strong it's a bit heavy because of the material it's double walled it's very strong uh the pockets are very good but uh, they're not easy access so yeah that's the errant no the boundary errant not the errant boundary the boundary errant the errant but the brand is boundary but the model is errant. <laughs> yeah. So that's it.